What's going on, my rockin' rowdies? I have some bad news for you guys today. Um, it's serious bad news. So if you are not able to listen to any bad news right now, go ahead and tune out and uh, come back to this video later when you're able to relax and really take this in. Otherwise, have a seat and prepare yourself for this. Um, it's been brought to my attention that Ryan Donnelly has passed away. Um, a lot of you found my channel through Ryan Donnelly and um, probably about 80 to 85% of you who come to my channel know who Ryan Donnelly is. Ryan Donnelly started a channel called Free From Hell uh, years and years ago um, where he's been put countless hours into helping other addicts get their lives cleaned up. And um, he had a counseling service and he also had a uh, supplement called um, Calm Support. Um, so apparently Friday night, it would be September 21st. Don't quote me exactly, but uh, yeah, Friday the 21st is when he passed away. Um, at first I didn't want to believe it and then I read his wife's Facebook post. Um, it says, where do I begin? I'm lost, I'm heartbroken, I'm angry, I'm confused, I'm asking myself why. What did I do to deserve this? Maybe it wasn't anything I did at all. With life comes loss and maybe it's as simple as that and that time for me has come. I've always been private and kept my business to myself, but I have to speak now. Ryan was my rock. Ryan was my rock, and from the moment I met him, I knew that we were going to be together, and we were a perfect match. We completed each other in areas I was lacking, he was not, and vice versa. We completed each other. We wanted the same things out of life, to be married, to have children, and spend the rest of our lives together, to grow old together. He truly loved me and was in awe of me and he would look at me and say, I have been all over the world and I have met many, many women and they don't come close to you. You are the most beautiful woman I have ever met. <laughs> the most beautiful woman that I have ever laid eyes on. And I have you. I'm so lucky. I used to laugh and say, yeah, yeah, okay. How I will miss that and miss catching him staring at me and I thank him for loving me and treating me like his queen and I thank him for opening new doors for me and for all the things he gave me and all the things he did for me and our family. Ryan was always giving and he had such a contagious smile. He continuously helped others and even when he felt stressed, drained and defeated, he always wanted to be there for anyone who needed a hand. To lift them up out of their despair, he was there. And with his Free From Hell website and his YouTube channel, as well as his coaching services, he never gave up on anyone and he never spoke poorly or judged anyone. He was a kind soul who had been through so much from being a special warfare combatant in the Navy to battling his addiction to dealing with the daily stresses of life. He always picked himself up and brushed himself off and I admire him and all that he did and I hope that his work will continue to help others for years to come. I will always speak of him, highly of him and I will always pray for him and he will always be in my heart. No one could ever, ever change the way I see him and how I love him. There aren't enough words and I could go on forever. Rest in peace, my dear love. So, I just, my condolences go out to his family. Um, he left behind two small children, his parents, um, his wife's parents. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, we just lost a really important person in this world. Somebody that just selfishly gave and gave and gave and it's a tragedy he was so young I think Ryan was either 34 or 36 I don't remember exactly um, I want to say 36 but um, you know he battled opiate addic addiction for many many years and he went to the Salvation Army treatment program and got his life together and then he met his wife and had a family and like 
you know, started his business free from hell and like that's how he supported his family and recently he was having hardships with money and he went back to doing construction and I know he was really stressed about that, um, supporting his family and I, I could sense that. I just hope that that, it doesn't matter at this point, I just, uh, so I'd like to give, um, a moment of silence for Ryan and his family and um, just a, a moment of prayer or thoughts for him. So. Ryan, just rest in peace and thank you so much for being such a huge part of my life and I know so many countless others out there watching my video right now, um, their lives and hopefully these videos of yours that you've put out, these years worth of videos will stay up to, to continue helping other people and um, there are no words, my friend. There are no words. So. Say something good about Ryan in the comments. And uh, we love you. We love you, Ryan. So, thanks.